Now let's move on to exercise two and update a workflow scheme. Continuing as the JIRA admin Ryan Lee, I'll navigate back to the workflows administration page. And I'll expand the inactive section at the bottom of the page and edit the Scrum Software Simplified workflow. This workflow was copied from a Scrum software project. It's the default workflow for that type of project. You can tell it's a simplified workflow because all statuses can transition to all other statuses. Note the all next to each status indicate that they're global transitions. In text mode, we can also find out it's simplified workflow because the transition IDs are identical for each step. For example, the in progress transition has the ID of 21 in each step. You can directly edit an inactive workflow, but we won't make any changes here. Now to update a workflow scheme. Only certain issue types in the Teams and Space project need to follow the TIS dev workflow. For example, simple tasks such as editing a design spec don't need to go through code review. These tasks can use the Scrum Software Simplified workflow. To do this, I'll navigate back to the Teams in Space project settings. And on the project settings summary page, we can view the issue types and workflows used in this project. For example, the issue types used are bug, epic, story, subtask, and task. I'll click the Teams in Space workflow scheme to edit it. Here we have the option to add workflow in the top left corner. I'll click add existing. Select Scrum Software Simplified Workflow and click next. The only issue types that need to use the TIS dev workflow and go through code review are bug and story. So I'll select the three remaining issue types and click finish. Lastly, I'll click publish to make the draft workflow scheme active in the project. Next, we need to choose the status to replace the in code review status for epics, tasks, and subtasks. I'll select in progress for each of them. Next, I'll click Associate, and when issue migration is complete, I'll click Acknowledge. Note you can also update the Teams in Space workflow scheme from the JIRA administration pages. Next, let's verify the workflows on the board. Now we need to add a task to the board to verify the simplified workflow. I'll navigate to the Teams in Space Projects Backlog page and drag the task TIS88 from the backlog up into the current sprint. After clicking confirm on the move issue dialog, you should now see the task in the sprint. You can click active sprints in the sidebar on the right to view the board and confirm you see the new issue on the board. Which columns on the board should you be able to drag it to? Let's test by dragging the issue over the other columns you can drag the new issue to the in progress or done column, but you cannot drag it to the in code review column because that status is not in the workflow that this issue, a task, is using. Let's check the same thing for a story task. You can only drag a story from the to do column to the in progress column because these issues are using the TIS dev workflow, which has a linear progression. Issues in the to do status can only transition to the in progress status. Let's verify the workflows by viewing issues of different types. I'll open the task TIS88 and confirm that we see all three statuses, to do, in progress, and done. I'll click the view workflow link and confirm that we can see the software simplified workflow. Let's open one of the other issues on the board in the to do column. And here we should confirm we only see the start progress transition button. And if we click View Workflow, we should see the TIS Dev Workflow, as you see here. 